Hello, my name is Teacher Phoebe, and today I will be demonstrating the Intentional Teaching Card M42, which is part of the creative curriculum, and the activity is Straw Shapes. So for this activity, we will be covering math, cognitive development, language, and receptive language. The objective of this activity is to explore and describe spatial relationships and shapes. The materials I would be using for this lesson are the following. A drawing of a triangle, a drawing of a rectangle, a drawing of a square, and a drawing of a circle. The other material we will be using are straws. And as you can see, I use two different colors and I also cut them different lengths. So some are longer, some are shorter, um, some are medium size to do this activity. In case you don't have straws, you could always use geometrical shapes, pipe cleaners, popsicle sticks, um, paper, pencils, um, crayons, whatever you have available to um, do this activity. So the first thing we're gonna do is introduce the shape to your student. So um, we can go ahead, show them the visual of the triangle and say, do you know, you can ask them, do you know what shape this is? And then you pause, give them a few seconds, have them answer. Um, if they don't, you can go ahead and prompt them to say, this is a triangle. Can you say triangle? Again, you pause. Um, take your time, have your student, um, give your student enough time for them to answer. And then after they've repeated triangle, you go ahead and model for them by tracing with your finger and you say, let's trace the triangle. And let's see how many sides the triangle has. And you can go ahead and count. One, two, three. After you've modeled for them, you can go and ask them to use their finger. Can you trace um, with your finger the triangle? And you can put it in front of them, lay it down, have your student trace the triangle. Again, if your student needs help, you could always prompt them um, to trace by um, verbal or hand over hand and help them trace the triangle. After you've trace the triangle, you can go ahead and model for your student. Now, we're going to use some straws to see if we can recreate the triangle. And again, first you model. You can um, ask questions like, oh, should we use the long one? Where do you think this one would fit? And you can go ahead and place it. And then you can go ahead and Ask them questions as you're doing the activity. Be like, oh, let's try to put this one. And now I think with one more, we'll have a triangle. And we use three straws to make a triangle. And then you can go ahead and say, now it's your turn and ask your student to have a turn. And you go ahead and give them the straws with the triangle and have them try. Have a try. So after you've um, demonstrated and worked with your student with the first shape, you can go ahead and move on to the other three. Um, if you feel like this might be too easy or your student is ready to move on to another, to more shapes, you can always add hearts, diamonds. Um, you can add more shapes to the activity. I also want to mention that if you see your student having challenges grasping the straw because it is thin, a good adaptation is to use a paper towel roll. The paper towel roll is bigger and is easier to grasp. You can um, collect some and cut them, and you can also draw the shapes on a bigger piece of paper, so it's easier for the student to use the paper towel roll to create the shapes. And that's it for this activity. Thank you for watching.